Hey guys, so today you're going to be showing uh, my favorite and I think some pretty good standby apps. Uh, standby mode obviously introduced in iOS 17 and offers you some great utility, turns your iPhone into a little smart display. Here you've got a little custom space style which has things like steps, distance, battery life, the date, how much storage I have left, then you've got in the right word of the day in a really beautiful kind of art that actually exemplifies what word it is. Now let's look at some other ones. Here you've got on the left a quote of the day which I quite like, an Abraham Lincoln quote. And on the right you've got from a clock related app that gives you some cool clock options. You've got a little Nixie tube uh, clock which I think is pretty cool as well. And the quotes just refresh there. Normally refreshes like let's say once a day, give or take new quote every day. And another little standby widget you've got on the left there as well similar to that first one I was talking about. It gives you your disk usage, so your storage use, your battery life, if Wi-Fi or cellular are on, the date, the time. Now moving on to a, another widget, if you will, standby widget, just tells you how much of the day has elapsed, or in this case is remaining actually, so 7% of the day remaining, week, month and year, how much that's remaining cool little what day of the week it is, kind of a cute little graphic there. Now just to show you some of these best apps, iScreen, which is what I basically used for most of them. If you go to standby widgets, you've got some custom ones which you can choose for both left and right widget. Otherwise, ultimately, you can just do DIY, which I quite like, and you can choose which left or right widget you want. Now this has the last widget and the second last widget I was talking about as well as the quote of the day. So you can have a look there, it's got quite a few different options so for sure good app. MD Clock, this one has a one-off fee. From memory I think it's about US 999 so maybe AUD like 15. It just gives you access to all the different cool clocks and in standby mode you can effectively choose majority of them for either your left or your right standby widget. So up to you if you think that's worth it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, quick is what I used for the first widget I was showing. As you can see all these apps have ads of course because they're uh, the first, this one and the ice cream are free so fair enough that they've got ads. They've got to generate revenue somehow and yeah you've got some different options over there so you can have a look through that app see what you fancy just kind of showing you the different functionality there they've also got some cool little dynamic island uh, animations that you can kind of utilize if you will but we'll stick to the standby widgets here uh, another one that we're going to look at here is lookup now that is where you get the word of the day from this one as well it does have a subscription fee uh, it's about five bucks a month AUD, and I think they are raising it actually. Whether you think that's worth it or not is kind of up to you. I do quite like the artwork associated with each word. As you can see, there's some really nice custom artwork that kind of indicates what the word is and kind of helps you remember it. There is also an Apple Watch complication related to it, but really, really subjective in terms of whether you get the benefit of it. And that pretty much does it. Hope you enjoyed, got some value out of it, and yeah. Don't forget to have a good one. Take care.